Hi friends. Let me get some more light in here. Um, it, we are welcome to our Martin Luther King Day of <laughs> running errands and doing nothing spectacular. But I am dying of heat because we finally have temperatures in the 30s. We have 35. 30. 35. Yeah, and that means as we drive by the Brown Bear Car Wash, we can actually go and wash our car. And I finally learned the just very delicate tap to get my car put into neutral. Does that mean that I am going to actually attempt to put my car through an actual car wash? No, it does not because we don't trust it. Is that one over there open? Um, well, this one is. Okay. Oh, this one open. Oh, there's someone in there, but like maybe they're almost done. Right. So we are instead are going to go ahead and do a manual wash. So, the, and also this line, everyone is here. It's been closed. Brown Bear Car Wash has actually been closed for the past probably week or so. Because the so. temperatures have been too cold to actually wash your car. So. Do we have more of those yellow things? Because we've got to dry it off so it doesn't, we're going to have to use this to dry off the locks. I don't think there's stuff. one in there. Open glove box. Remember how we, it got dirty? Hmm. So well, we'll dry it when we, well, it'll be fine. It's not freezing outside. No, it's warming up. Definitely anyway, hello, shade. welcome to our day. We are going to Costco, but oh, heat. I cannot do the heat. I'm already hot in this jacket. I'm already regretting my decision. Except the two places in Costco that we need to go into are the cold sections. And that's literally all we need from Costco. I'm trying to find my list. We need milk, eggs, cottage cheese, and fruit. So we get to go in the cold sections and then leave because we don't need anything else. We don't need to like roam the halls like we've been doing um, and spend extra money because we spent a lot of money last week. <laughs> Correct? We bought the mattress. Yeah. But Chelsea does love her mattress. It works out very well for her. And I will say, Ashley, she's going to bed earlier. She's sleeping she well. Better, so it's, it's she's not off, complaining uh, about her back hurting even though she's done so many practices for cheer and competitions and she does oh look at that he's it's done. just like a little kid mattress was just not enough cushion for her yeah it was definitely like a like your first toddler mattress uh, get so. above a certain weight and it becomes yeah like, and i handed it down to someone who is just moving their baby out of their crib a bit um so it's perfect for them because they maybe weigh 50 pounds <laughs> so all right, let's go wash my car. I don't, have we even taken this through a car wash before? Like this we have. Or no, okay. maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. He put it into car wash mode. So that way the wipers won't come on and all that all stuff. All right. All right, so not only is my car nice and purdy, but we managed to get in and out of Costco in probably 20 minutes or so, wouldn't you say? Not bad. And for only 60 bucks. Yeah. So basics, I got muffins um, um, as a different soft thing for Abby to eat. But we go to her surgical um, post-op appointment tomorrow morning at really, really early. And she gets to get off her, um, what do you call it? her splint, her surgical splint that's inside her mouth. It's the final step. And then the day after, within 24 hours, we have to get her over to the ortho and they take out the surgical wire and she is good to go. And she'll do another, I don't even know, she'll do another, I don't know how many months, maybe six months of braces and then she's done. But I don't think she's gonna be able to chew quite yet. So we're gonna just talk to the doctor tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna take it slow. And find out like okay what are the next things that she can eat i'm so, sure it could probably create like stress fractures if you get too yeah aggressive. like she i don't want her eating chips and crackers and things like that like i just she needs to work her way into it yeah. so anyway so not much um 
spent at Costco, which is super nice. Oh, and you want to show my my little notebook? Yeah, back on the seat there. Snazzy. Um, we don't have great yeah, the light. You gotta... But let me show you. That's the lighting the is great for this. Well, kind of. So there's my little notebook. Took that to FedEx and got that bound black on the back. And there you go. It's kind of cute. Pages? No, they already know it's inside. Okay. But you make me wanna fly, I'm not coming down Maybe it's the way you move, babe, move, babe You've got that body and that smile, make my head spin round I'll hold you close to me Alright, uh, Ashley is dropping off, we are dropping off her friend, her other friend got a ride home um, They've been playing all afternoon and it's been cute um, to have them we had a little bit of a dynamic going on with other kids in the family that we were having to like deal with right when these guys were coming over so it's always a little bit awkward <laughs> and a little stressful for us as parents to kind of be on um on uh, on alert from people who are not in the family so it was a little awkward so i've been kind of quiet and not pulling out the camera today um so i apologize for that but we just had dynamics to deal with as parents and family members so um, I have been just busy working in my office working on um, videos and notes I am um, you okay you cold? I'm cold she just got new cheer shorts Ooh, right are they Chloe. shorts or are they a skirt Skirt. they're it's kind of a they're just loose shorts but then they have the biker short underneath yeah, it like. and yes it is 30 degrees outside and she's wearing shorts and a tank top I'm not sure why. We're just going. We're just going. To do you Target. have a sweatshirt at all? Yeah, right here. Okay, put the sweatshirt on to go to Target. Yeah. Um, we forgot jelly. I don't know how many times Chelsea said yesterday, "Do we have jelly? Do we have jelly?" Oh, is she upstairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't see her. Um, I need to back into that spot. Trying to like get out of her driveway is a little bit tricky. So, we're gonna run to Target to get jelly, which normally I would have just gone back to Costco and gotten it, but um. I also just got an alert that Kaylee has some medication at Target to pick up. So I thought, well, you know, if that's what we can go and get, we'll go get it. And then we're gonna go home and do a normal uh, schedule for school. school night. Get back into a good yeah, routine. I don't know what I'm gonna do with mine. I know, her, she hasn't had hives today I until have. like an hour ago. No, I have, it wasn't like, I was like. It wasn't oh. as bad though. I was like, okay, well I should like put cords on, on before it like gets bad so I, it was like on my chest okay and well, it was all over my leg and then on my feet have you taken the pink allergy pill yet i don't know why she's just stubborn yeah. okay we're gonna take it tonight when we get home i just it didn't come and then we're gonna take it both of them in the morning um and then hopefully she'll be fine during the day and we'll take it again when she gets home i don't know really what's causing this i know that like Rashes can happen from viruses, but these are like full-on like hives. hives. They're not just it's not just a rash So I'm not really sure what the dynamic is and what's going on with it, but I Hope you don't have to deal with it at school, but I will be available tomorrow to come and get you If it is a problem. They're probably just gonna give me ice. No, you tell them That you need to have me come and get you Okay, we got a little bit more than jelly. What did we get your very last? box of valentines while well, they still have them your last year for valentines i mean half of them we got mini bagels for her cheese this is for their um upstairs bathroom and the jelly that we all right have. so i am i'm trying to figure out how to end today's video um but i thought i would show you my cute little notebook and something that i added to it like i said i was going to do um, I added this little card here. I printed this out and, and then just taped it to another one of these. And it is my YouTube stats as of the beginning of 2024. I have 1.5 million views on my channel, 1.506,000 to be exact. And I have 6,500 subs, which I know is not big for normal YouTubers, but for me, it's, I'm, you know, it's an accomplishment. Um, so that is what my notebook looks like and I'm already starting to use it um, with yesterday and today's videos. I'm already starting to check it off and I actually really like to close it and have it like sitting here on my desk along with my like my regular notebook 
and I actually started to read this last night. Um, I had actually read like 20 or 30 pages um, already, um, but I got back into it and read up to page 71. This is the third book in her series with the Hana series or whatever. It's really good. I forgot how good it was. And so I'm reading that. And then as soon as I finish that, I will probably move on to one of these two um, because these are the first ones in the series that I've already read. So I'm also currently um, making responses to Hawaii um, Facebook posts <laughs> because I just think it's fun. And I found advice from people who had visited the islands really, really helpful um, and insightful when I had questions about where to stay, what to do for kids and all that kind of stuff. And so I don't mind taking my time. I usually don't respond if there's more than like 10 or 15 comments on a post already. Um, but this one only has three so far and they're kind of different views on staying at the Waikoloa Hilton Resort on the Big Island. Um, so I'm kind of giving my two cents. You don't have to stay at that main hotel. You can stay at any of the smaller ones and pay a whole lot less, which is why that trip to Hawaii only cost us, I think that one was $200. $250 for all, I think we stayed there for 10 days. Yeah, that point system worked out really well for us. No, I think we paid for some of our flights, maybe one way on the flights, but we still did pretty good on that one. So um, I think I'm gonna close out with you. I don't, I've just finished editing up to <laughs> coming home from Target with Ashley and we're not doing anything else tonight. We're just trying to get her, Ashley, on schedule to start school tomorrow and or go back to school I should say and Abby and Kaylee are at work and Chelsea has had dinner and is tucked into bed to be able to go to sleep Abby has her post-op tomorrow I don't even know when the next post-op appointment is I probably have it on the schedule for a couple months from now I will take you along that journey in a very discreet way because of Abby and just her um, requests for privacy yet she allows me to share the process um, just doesn't like to be a part of the process <laughs> even though all of it is about her I'll give you updates um, I really really like my dad is dying to see before and afters so I'm I'm really hoping that we can get um, images of not only the photos of her the before and after but also the x-rays because I think that would be really fascinating so I'm hoping he has time to show that to me on the on their computers so stay tuned for that um, I think it's gonna change a lot in Abby's the, the very last of her recovery and learn how to chew again um, I think it's really gonna make a huge difference for her so stay tuned and we'll take you on that journey tomorrow mahalo take care we'll see you guys next time <laughs>